Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Sunday the 5th of December. It's quite late. Um, let's talk about whips and teas. That's what my video will mainly be about. Anyway, before I get on to that, I am a little croaky because when I've been stressed, it shows up in my damaged throat. So I apologize for that. I was a bit stressed today because when um, Reeves got up, he was quite ill. He had been coughing all night and he was coughing up blood so we took him to the 24 medic, uh, medical center they wouldn't see him or let him in because they thought it was COVID related and we had to go to the emergency department at the hospital well the doctor looked at him da da da, -da. he was a fairly confident it wasn't COVID but Reeves had to have a COVID test and we were sent home and told to stay home till the results come through which basically means they text you the results. The doctor said minimum of four hours before you get them. Well, we got them through a bit over an hour ago. Yay! He's negative. Thank God for that. Because he suffers from asthma. And the last thing I want him to have to cope with is COVID. So yes, as a mum, I was quite stressed. Reeves and things decided they just veg all day for the rest of the day on the couch watching the Bathurst 1000 which is a V8 motor cars race supercars um, I don't really enjoy that sort of racing because it goes on forever it is a long race with a lot of laps however they did call me to see a couple of highlights one was um, the cameras had picked up an albino wallaby watching the race it was very white and pretty and later they call me laughing because they had put the yellow flags out and the safety car because there was an echidna crossing the track. The lucky echidna made it to the other side without getting hit by one of the cars and found a little gap in the concrete wall and squeezed through there to get out back to the bushland. So there you have it. Only in Australia would a supercar race be held up by its native animals. So yes, I... When I'm stressed, I'm a little croaky, and I do apologise. Anyway, let's get started. Let's talk about whips. Well, with the waiting for the results on my mind, I decided I have to keep busy, and I decided I would round up my whips. Now, in the past, I have said I don't like more than five, maybe eight whips on the go at the most. And last year, I carried quite a few whips into this year that I had to finish off, and I wasn't going to let that happen this year ding dong no I rounded up the whips today how many whips do you think I have on the go if my limit is five to eight I found 20 whips yes 20 whips on the go I can only put it down to that I got really into the cows and make-alongs this year and every time I join one I put it a whip I was doing aside and I either forget about it because I don't have a craft room so they were all over the place and they weren't all in one area they are now I've got them hanging off the dungeon door I'll put a photo at the end for you to see and check out my bags of whips so December will be about reducing those 20 whips I will finish some of them I may frog some of them because when I opened the bag and went God, I can't even remember starting that this year so yes whips my question to you guys is how many whips do you like to have on the go or doesn't it matter how many um, do you set yourself a limit or is it endless infinite limit let me know in the comments below what's the ideal for you because 20 freaks me out it is too many for me so that's whips let's talk about tea this is my event calendar. I've been doing short videos and sharing the opening of my T2 advent calendar. My first ever advent calendar. And some people have asked me to share with them the taste of the teas and what I think of them. So here goes. I said I'd do a six day review. It's five days. And I thought, well, I'll share five days with you because I don't have any finished objects to share that are worth sharing. I've been working on market stuff before rounding up my whips. And a lot of them I've shown you before. The sort of thing I make for the market. So here goes. Day one was Melbourne breakfast tea. 
when the wind starts howling, the, this brew will see you through. Indulge a little with this full-bodied body, vanilla sweet tea, bound to keep you cosy all year round. Sip it Melbourne style. Well, I have no idea how to sip tea Melbourne style. I don't know what that means. But I did enjoy this tea. My notes for day one were it did have a light vanilla aroma, but it wasn't overkill. It was smooth, but it wasn't sweet. There was no sweet taste to it. And I did enjoy it. It was light and refreshing. So that was day one, Melbourne style tea. Day two was gorgeous geisha. Now I have friends who love this tea. Smooth, sweet and so creamy. Sencha green tea combined with luscious flavours of strawberries and cream is delicious hot or, co or iced as a summer treat. This geisha got a hold on us. Not for me. Not, it's a nice tea. It doesn't have a strong fruit. It has a fruity smell, but I wouldn't say it was strawberry. And it was smooth and creamy. But for me, the problem was it had a strong green tea taste. And green tea does upset my stomach. And this tea did upset my stomach. Now, I had it hot. I don't know what it would be like iced. But yes, that was day two, gorgeous geisha. Day three was strawberries and cream. I was really excited because I like strawberry flavoured teas. This is fruity and smooth, but I wouldn't say it had a strong strawberry flavour. And Thing who drinks a lot of herbal teas had a taste and he goes, it's just fruity. I wouldn't say it was strawberry. And yes, it was very red and vibrant. I did have this hot, but I think this would be better as an iced tea. And living in the tropics, I do drink a lot of iced tea. That was day three. Day four was lemongrass and ginger. Now, I grow lemongrass because I cook with it a lot. And I do like ginger. And so does Thing. I had this iced because I make iced tea with my lemongrass and it was really nice. It is very refreshing and a great iced tea. I imagine hot, it would be more aromatic, but um, yes, I did enjoy this one. Day five, this morning before my stress began, I opened Morning Sunshine this morning when I opened this, Thing and I had been out last night to a French restaurant for dinner. We don't go out to dinner often, but we do do lunch quite a bit. But we really enjoyed a night out for dinner and had a lot of fun. Before my stress, I opened this tea. And I had this tea when I got home from the hospital. I thought it might help me. Morning sunshine. So what does it say? This harmonious mix of Assam, Darjeeling and Rwandan Estate black teas offers robust multi notes with a touch of muscatels and wild fruitiness. Simply ex exceptional. This brew is brews just the sip to wake you up. Well, I did have it hot and I did try it black at first, but mm, I needed a bit of milk. And yes, it has a very strong Darjeeling Indian flavour. It is a nice hot tea, but that flavor if it's too strong for me mm, I'm not keen so basic better best what was my least favorite in the five days well it'd have to be gorgeous geisha mainly because for me personally my opinion is it's too green tea flavored and I I'm not a fan of green tea because it does upset my stomach so that was my basic tea for the five days my better tea was obviously the iced tea, lemongrass and ginger. I enjoyed this a lot more. It was a lot more refreshing, light and kind to the stomach because ginger is good for your stomach. My favourite tea of all of the five was Melbourne breakfast tea. It was light. It was a nice breakfast tea. I really enjoyed it. And yes... It is the best tea out of the five. But I still don't know how to drink it Melbourne style. 
Who knows? Maybe someone will tell me in the comments below. But that is my five days of the T2 calendar. And I'll be opening day six tomorrow. And in the next five days, I may do another review for those people who want to know about tea. If you haven't tried tea, I highly recommend you try a fruit flavoured tea. If it's hot where you are, try it iced. Iced tea, I really enjoy. Some people don't like it, but tea is really good for you. Believe me, trust me. I'm a tea drinker. I'm a tea drinker because my parents immigrated from England when I was eight years old and we had lots of pots of teas growing up. And I am addicted to tea. I admit it. Guys, thank you for watching. Oh, before I go, I'd like to give a big shout out to Mel. Now, you guys might remember Crochet, um, Colors of the Outback was her channel. And it was Mel from WA, another Aussie girl in, over in the West. Now, her channel was deleted, long story, but she has restarted up a channel and it is now called Crochet with Mel. If you were subscribed, go over there and check out her channel and resubscribe. She lost all her subscribers. And she is doing a advent review of her a hobby or hobby um, advent boxes, like one a week. And they're really interesting. So I'll put a link in the description below. And please subscribe and say hi. Um, she really needs she was up around 500 subscribers. I think the other day when I checked, she was still at 12. So I encourage you to give our Yanni friend and my fellow Aussie some support. So that's it. Take care. Stay well. And if you're not well, get it checked out. Don't leave it. And remember, life's an adventure and you could have a great adventure trying out some tea with me. Until next time. Bye for now.